three, two, one. The Daniel Ellis Memorial 5K honors the life and legacy of Officer Ellis, who was shot and killed in the line of duty in 2015. It was a good friend, a great co-worker, it was somebody we, everybody loved working with, the police department. So it, you know, to be able to continue this and, and to have that memory, um, it really means a lot. It's the race's fifth year and Ellis's widow says she's thankful for the continued support. I think the community has just healed with me. Um, they've always kind of been the wind beneath my wings and you know their prayers have not gone unnoticed. Because of COVID-19, of course, the race is different this year. They had to cap participation at 300 people and there are hardly any spectators out here right now. But the excitement for this event certainly has not dwindled. It's unfortunate that it's a little bit smaller this year, um, but I think for me it was just a, a little piece of kind of normal that we could bring to the community and a lot of people are participating at home. She adds that the health department signed off on the event. In addition to a 300 person participation cap, they also split the race into two groups and got rid of the pre-event celebrations and awards ceremony. There were also very few spectators. Pleasure having everybody out here. Nevertheless, dozens laced up their sneakers to honor the fallen officer who called this community home. In Madison County, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News. All proceeds from the race go to help those in need in Madison County. Anyone can also help to donate to the cause online. We've got a link up now at lx18.com.